Okay. Yeah. All right, we're here with Constance Nunes. So excited. Uh, she's a car mechanic, entrepreneur with Cars by Constance in California, model, and of course, most people know her from uh, Car Masters, Rust to Riches. Yes. How are you doing today? Oh, it is very chaotic, very busy, uh, which is great. I mean, that's pretty much the SEMA show all the time, uh, but it's, it's good energy. We're all here, auto enthusiasts, so it's super exciting. You brought us Baby Stang. I did. 1965 Mustang. It's a 64 and a half, actually, a true one. Uh, 64 and a half, uh, everything that was with this car originally is still surviving with this car. Uh, original numbers matching straight six, 170 in it as well. This is your daily driver, correct? This is my daily driver, yes. 19 years now. It has been everywhere with me and uh, we've had a great life together. <laughs> when you were little, was this your dream car? Like when you were really little? Yes, actually. I grew up in an all Chevy family. Uh, and for some reason, I saw this car and I had to have it. And I had to have a true 64 and a half. I would not settle for a 65. I was very stubborn. Uh, and when I was 15, I was lucky enough to find her. <laughs> You're like Tom Hanks in that movie where he's a crabby old man. And yeah. The whole family's Ford and somebody's for Yeah, Chevy. yeah, no, it's, uh, I was definitely the black sheep when I decided that I wanted a Mustang, but. <laughs> You've built a lot of cars over the years. What's the one you're the most proud of? Baby saying. Okay. The, but for a very interesting reason, I guess. It's not, um, it's not necessarily because it's my personal one, because I have other Mustangs too, obviously. Um, the reason that I'm the most proud of this car is because this car I built in a very specific way. I didn't want it to be something that was so over the top that took you know every dime you've ever made. I wanted it to be something that people looked at it and said, you know what, I have that project car sitting in the back that I've really wanted to start and I've been intimidated to do it or whatever the reason. I wanted them to look at it and say, hey, I could probably do that. You know, I could get my hands in there and at least try, you know, get your kids out there, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, and at least try. So that's how I built this car, and that's why I'm the most proud of it, is because when people see it, that's that's what they do, you know, and that's everything to me. Moving on now to Car Masters, mm -hmm. Rest to Riches. Yes. Were you always involved with Mark Tork? Did you already work there? Did you have to audition for the part? How did how'd you get it? No, so um, originally the shop got offered a show. I was actually just building motors for them kind of on the side. And uh, one thing led to another with them in the show and they asked, hey, we need, we need more help actually. Uh, and I said, okay, no problem. And now here we are, we have a fifth season coming out in December and uh, you know, we're still just having a great time with it. <laughs> It's, you know, being on shows, it looks beautiful from the outside. Yes. How is it on the inside? Um, you know, it's a lot of hard work. I think people have an idea of what it's like to be on TV and they don't realize that, you know, you don't see everything. There's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes. We are there for a lot more hours than you would think. Um, and I think that kind of, you know, you see 30 minutes and a car gets built and it seems like, oh, they, you know, skipped over this or, you know, what about this part that they didn't show? And it's like, that work all still gets done. Uh, trust me, we are, we are working long hours to make those cars happen. Um, so I think that's the biggest misconception is you see it in 30 minutes, but I assure you it takes a lot longer. <laughs> So now you have cars by Constance. Yes. It's going to be your attention is going to be split. <laughs> Do you think maybe this is the time to start your own show? Um, you know, I never really had a plan to get onto TV. That was really never the goal. That was a complete accident. It's been a beautiful accident. I'm super grateful for all the opportunities that it's brought me and mostly that, you know, I can kind of be out there representing hopefully in the most positive way uh, women mechanics and just women in the automotive field, so I'm, I'm super happy about that. As far as doing another show or my shop being on a show, I think, um, you know, if the opportunity presented itself, that would be amazing, obviously. And if it didn't, I'm, I'm still gonna be here building, building Mustangs and helping people with their dream cars. So you mentioned women in automotive, the automotive world. Bullying is very real in every industry. 
Have you experienced a lot of bullying in the automotive <laughs> industry? Uh, I think anyone that follows me on Instagram could probably attest that I do get some bullying. Uh, I think a lot of that is driven just from, you know, people have a misogynistic view on, you know, what does a mechanic look like? They have this image in their head maybe that it's, it's just that. But like with anything, your aesthetic should not determine how good you are at something or your skill level, and it, it doesn't. Um, so I think the, the bullying does happen because there's still some people kind of stuck in that rut. But honestly, there's so much positive. Like I, I really see so much positive in the industry and so many more women coming into the industry and they're being welcomed with open arms. So that's great. You restore cars from the night. That's thank you for that answer, by the way. <laughs> you restore cars from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Fords mostly, mm -hmm. ICEs mostly. Yes. How do you feel about EVs coming in? Um, the muscle car girl in me is not the biggest fan of the EV stuff. Um, I think I'm torn though. I I love the concept of it i love that we're just trying new things i love anything that you know we're gonna see uh, can we make this work this is new technology you know how do we apply it to classic cars you know that's something we weren't doing that 10 years ago you know that's incredible how far we've come just in like a short amount of time with it i think in the right applications it's great what i personally would love to see i think i'll always kind of be a gasoline girl um, but what I would like to see is that market is still pretty high value. You know, I do have clients that ask about converting their muscle cars to EV. And right now the market just isn't there for it to be cost effective, practical for the masses. So maybe, you know, like I said, we're always making strides. Maybe in a couple years when we get that kind of price point into a more realistic builder you know, level, then I might, you know, change my tune a little bit and maybe, maybe you'll see an EV come out of Cars by Constance. Okay. Um, how do you feel about AI coming in? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like real people and uh, real people working hard and, and I think that uh, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> okay. Your father was a driver, right? Mm -hmm. Your father, he was a racer, he was a drag star? Uh, yeah, so my dad actually owns an automotive shop still to this day. Uh, he is the hometown hero, actually. And uh, yes, he used to be a semi-professional drag racer. So we grew up uh, packing into the Winnebago every weekend and going out to tracks like Palmdale and Bakersfield and having a great time. So that really inspired me to get into automotive. I always kind of thought I would more so stay in the racing side of things but uh i don't know i just really gravitated towards building but i have thought about getting back into it so who knows maybe you'll see some this year last question final question how what's the fastest you've ever gone in a car oh um i don't know that i can legally say how fast i've gone but i've gone very fast uh on a drag strip i've done seven seconds uh, personally. So I think that's pretty good for someone that's not a real race car driver. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I've, I've done faster in other situations, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> we won't go any further than that. <laughs> Constance, thank you so much of for your course. time. Of course, no, great. it was wonderful chatting with you. Yeah. So have a great rest of SEMA. Thank and you. And we'll see you around. Bye.